This is a polynomial function with two independent variables x and y. When plotted, this function looks like this three-dimensional surface. We are interested to do the integration of this function within a range of minus one and plus one in both x and y direction. One motivation for this strange range of integration is isoparametric element formulation ranges between minus one to one irrespective of the size or shape of the elements. In finite element simulations, it is necessary to integrate functions like material responses within this each elements. And in those cases, you will perform this integration within the range of minus one to one in different axes. Note that you might have to make hundred or thousands or even million integrations in a simple finite element simulation. So it is crucial that we can do this integration as fast as possible. One way of doing the integration is uh, doing the integral using calculus and then uh, inserting the upper and lower limit for each variable. Another way of integration is to use Gauss quadrature. If you use this method, you don't need to use calculus for the integration. Instead, you can get the value of this function at different points or, or different value of x and y and add them together to get the final value of integration. This way is significantly faster than doing the integration using calculus. In a separate video, I have explained in more detail how the integration using Gaussian quadrature works for one independent variable or two independent variables like here. So please check the video link in the description or check the video here. Now I will show you a quantitative comparison of how fast a Gaussian quadrature is compared to traditional uh, integration by calculus. To set it up, let's write this equation in MATLAB and try the integration in both way. We start by writing this equation as fun as a function of x and y. This function can be integrated between lower and upper limit of x, lower and upper limit of y using the MATLAB function integral 2. This does not use the advantage of Gaussian quadrature. Let's integrate and see what's the value of this integral. The integral equals to 13.33. This means that volume under this surface is 13.33. Now function fun will be used to perform this integration using Gaussian quadrature. And this can be performed by finding the value of this equation at these four points. So Gauss integral of this function within this lower and upper limit is this function value at one divided by square root of three of value x and one divided by square root of three of value y plus this function evaluated at um, minus one by square root of three and y value of one divided by square root of three and so on and we have added this uh, function value at these four Gauss points as here. Now we will run this code and compare these two integral values. So we can see the integral, regular integral is 13.33 uh, and the integral found by using Gaussian quadrature is also 13.33. We are still not sure that which integral is more efficient, but we will find it out soon. To do so, I will evaluate this integral for 10,000 times using a for loop. So this loop runs this integral or regular integral 1000 times and the time required for running this integral is stored in ET1. So let's run this code and see how long it takes. It's still running and it takes 7.27 seconds to run this integral 10,000 times if we use regular integration. Now we will do the same for Gauss integration. So here we are running this Gauss integration again 10,000 times 
but uh, the time required for this computation is saved in ET2. So ET2 for Gauss integration and ET1 for regular integration. If we run this part and we see that the time required for performing this integration for 10,000 times is 0 0.001. Again, I would like to remind you that the integration performed using regular integration or Gauss integration had the same value or same accuracy, but you save your time by a big margin. If we divide ET1 by ET2, we get the value of 649. This means by the time a regular integral is performed once, a Gauss integration could be performed 649 times. Experience shows that this number can even be several thousands. So if you do a very simple math based on the evidence that we found here, that would mean, for example, in finite element simulation, if you have to perform 10,000 integration at different integration points of an element, and if you perform the integration using Gaussian quadrature, and it takes you one minute, then it will take you 10 hours if you perform the same integration using regular integration scheme. This is why Gaussian quadrature is used when the number of integration needs to perform is significantly high.